Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is the third video in a tutorial series in which I show you different ways you can create digital products for your business. Uh, today I am going to show you how to create a simple form, well it's going to be really simple, in uh, Adobe InDesign. I plan to create some more in detail tutorials for InDesign in the future. We are going to go with this simple form that you can create in, in a few minutes and this way you can speed up the process of creating your digital products. If we haven't met yet, my name is Emesha from Everything Digital and here on this channel I talk about digital products, making money online and business finance. When you start out, InDesign might be a very daunting and a very... You might find InDesign very hard to use, but uh, it's more user-friendly than uh, Illustrator in my design. Of course, if you already know how to use Illustrator or Photoshop, those might be easier for you. But because I started out using InDesign and I didn't pay for any courses or any... I didn't use any paid materials when I learned how to use InDesign, I only used YouTube and a lot of blogs and uh, articles and I figured it out by myself because in my opinion InDesign is a very user-friendly and easy to use platform. So without any further ado I will show you my screen and I will walk you through how I create my planners in InDesign. So let's go! So we are going to open up a new document. Here on my starting screen I already have a US letter size document set up so let's click on that and this will create a new document for us. So let's start. Just like in the previous two tutorials, you can check them out in the description down below. I'm going to recreate the same weekly planner that, that we just did in Canva in the previous video. So I am not sure if I have all the fonts installed, but we will make something pretty together today. Yeah, sorry for that, I forgot to record at the beginning. But let's add in the title. This is our type tool. And let's say. We will select it and now we are going to customize it. We are going to select the font. Let's find a pretty script font or maybe let's set the size first. Let's set it to 30. I can see that L, I will correct it in just a minute. That's the problem when you have so many fonts. I think I have more than a thousand. You don't know which one to select. I think I will go with this one. Let's see if they have glyphs. No. So let's make this one even bigger. I'm thinking 48. And we'll leave it like that. So now let's add the daily section. And we will say my week. And let's set it to play fair display because I mentioned that is one of my favorite fonts. You will make this one a tad bigger, like that. And let's add the sections. I will use this rectangle tool. And let's go until uh, the middle of the page. And as you can see, InDesign helps you because it detects the middle of the page uh, both ways, vertical and uh, horizontal as well. And now, here we can customize the colors. We are going to uh, remove the outline and we are going to select by double clicking on this a pretty pink tone light one this would be good it's not the same as the one you created in Canva but uh, it, this is a pretty one too by the way you can get the color code from Canva if you would like and use it in InDesign as well but I'm not going to do that today and here we are going to space these a little bit different because I will show you 
uh, how to space them out evenly. Of course, they show you with these little green arrows. One more. Okay, but we will select now all seven of these and we will drag them down. And voila, the spacing and the fields grew um, kind of the same. I don't know how to express myself, but they all... Yeah, you see what I mean here. I don't know how to say it. So yes, that's that. And let's add the days of the week now. I'm just going to copy and paste the text and we will make it smaller. Let's say 12 and let's type in all the days. I will speed it up so that you don't have to uh, look in real time how I how slow I type. We are halfway there. Now let's add the other column. Let's say important. Yes, like that. And now let's add the add in the lines. As you can see here, I am able to make much thinner lines than in, I did in Canva. And let's add the weekend plans section as well. And we are going to use the same trick as we did before to make these ones bigger. And that's it. Okay, let's put this in the center as well. If you want to add some other graphic elements to any of your InDesign files, you will have to download them and store them on your computer. Now, you have to be careful. If you are using any image from the internet, people with uh, people who hold the induction property to that element can come after you. That is why that's why it's better to purchase your elements. Of course, there are some free uh, resources on the internet as well but if you choose to purchase your elements from uh, creative market or et or etsy even and you save the license on your computer too uh, you can sleep uh, better because you know that no one can come after you because you paid for that item and you can use it fairly so that's a tip right there I will try to dig uh, through my files and try to find a pink uh, watercolor wash so that we can somehow imitate the design that I did in the previous video. Okay, so I was able to find a nude one, but we can change the saturation and the color of the element here in, uh, in design. But first we have to get this brown So you have to have this brown uh, outline and then you can make it smaller and now you can make smaller the blue one too. So let's make it even smaller. That's good. Let's rotate it a little bit. And now let's do some... So now the, we are going to place it right here on the top. And we are going to send it to the back. Arrange, send back, send to back. And now we are done. Almost done. 
Now we take this blue part and make it fit our page. Otherwise, when we export, it will be hanging out there. Okay. And I feel like we should add this watercolor wash on the bottom too. I know that we didn't add it in uh, the Canva tutorial, but I feel like it would do good for this design, but a little bit lower. And we arrange it again, so we send it to the back, and that's it. And now if you want to export it, you just go to the file. You just go to file in the upper left hand corner and go and find export or control E or command E depending on your computer. And you can select uh, the location on your computer where you want the file to be exported. That's how easy it is to use Adobe InDesign uh, for uh, a planner design. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and you learned something from it. And type in InDesign in the comments so that I know you watched uh, this video all the way through. And you can also leave your uh, design ideas that you would like to implement in InDesign. And uh, I can give you feedback and I can tell you my thoughts. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And consider subscribing to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you will never miss another video in which I talk about digital products, making money online and business finance. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.